Hey everybody, how's it going? We've got the final uh, special event for the round 6 of the season 1, the round hub. And it is a limited series featuring the brand new Porsche 911 GT3, the 2021 rendition. Alright, so it's a limited series, so you know what to expect. Uh, you have to win 45 gold trophies. Uh, spread through 15 tiers, right? And you got seven days to complete it. Of course, once you win that first trophy in the event, you uh, unlock instant service and instant upgrades on racing dollar upgrades available on this car. So, um, yeah, as always, don't start upgrading right away as soon as you start the event. Uh, complete one event first without any upgrades on first, right? Because otherwise, um, I believe uh, tier one or stage one upgrades on this car takes four hours otherwise, so yeah. All right, and in terms of rewards wise, you got the car itself, which is uh, normally 525 gold worth. So let's see if you get, uh, what do you call it? Uh, showcase discount? I guess you knock off what um about a like 150 gold so you can get it for somewhere around 375 is that right uh don't do math online <laughs> as i'm attempting here and of course you get the uh, 5250 victory points which may depending on your situation uh, get you up to another gold reward tier. Uh, if not the uh, the grand prize car for the season or for the round, right? And thirty gold and hundred fifty thousand racing dollars. So those are the rewards that will be spread out through the um, quarter completion, right? Twenty five percent completion get you like certain percentage of it. Anyway, let's hop into the series and check out what we got going here. All right, Porsche 911 GT3 2021 Limited Series. The latest iteration of the legendary 911 GT3 is an expression of love from the manufacturer and an indomitable force on the track. And for, I, I get a feeling for most of us, it's just another 911. <laughs> <laughs> in the game all right so here is the breakdown of the rewards broken down into 25 percent uh completion increment and in my prior look um uh, because i did take a sneak peek at it um the first 25 percent completion which you need to complete the first four tiers uh that requires pr 53.9 to claim the first 25% uh, completion rewards of 750 victory points, 3 gold, and 15,000 racing dollars. And the PR 53.3 is just a little beyond what you can do without any gold. So there is no free gold uh, completion rewards in this limited series, which is pretty typical, right? Um, and then the 50% completion, that means uh, two trophies or two gold trophies in tier uh, eight. So you need to complete tier seven, which requires PR 56.4. And for that, you get to claim 1,000 additional victory points, six gold and 30,000 racing dollars. Yeah, since the total reward is only 30 gold, you're not gonna pay out that much per completion of these. Uh, uh, event, right? And the 75% completion, uh, which means you have to complete the uh, tier 11 and win a gold trophy in tier 12. Uh, that requires PR 59.3 and the payout is going to be 1500 victory points, 9 gold and 45,000 racing dollars. And then of course, Final 100% completion 
uh, you get to win the grand prize, the car itself, which is, as I said, worth 525 gold if you're to buy it outright. Uh, 2,000 victory points, 12 gold, and 60,000 racing dollars. So, um, let's uh, use the gold to get that done right away so we can kind of dig into the details a bit more here. All right, and there is extra victory points. All right, as you can see, three hour instant service and instant R&D on those racing dollar upgrades here. Base PR 43, uh, 49.3 uh, does max out at 66.8 and um sure let's get into the series itself so final tier tier 15 the last the final cup at hockenheim grand prix requires as you can see pr 62.6 and uh five laps right and in order to meet that pr requirement if you're guessing three upgrades across the board yep new cars pretty typical right so the 28 upgrades available total. You need 21 of those 28 by getting three upgrades across the board. So let's go ahead and get them since they are all available instantly when you win that first trophy. Right. All right. So, and then as always, the even number stage upgrades are all gold upgrades, odd number stage upgrades are all racing dollars so of course tier one upgrades all racing dollars usual seven categories available so with the tier one racing dollar upgrades only brings your pr up to 53.7 which is just a 0.2 PR points shy, I believe, of what you can, what you're gonna need to com uh, claim that 25% completion. As you can see here, tier four requires PR 53.9, so that ain't happening without any gold. Anyway, um, so if you're in this event, you're in it to win it. If you're purchasing any upgrades, right? Especially gold ones. All right, so let's uh, check out how much tier or stage two upgrades the gold upgrades the one that matter cost right so engine 46 gold unlocks the next tier racing dollar upgrades we're gonna need eventually drivetrain 42 gold and then body 34 gold suspension 38 gold and exhaust Another 38 gold. So they're all kind of in the mid 30s, right? Brakes, 30 gold. And then finally, tires and wheels, 36 gold. So that brings the grand total to 264 gold. Brings your PR up to 58.1, which obviously is not quite enough to complete the event, but that's where the stage three, the racing dollar upgrades need to be done, which Normally would take uh, 12 hours, I think. So, there we go. Body, suspension, exhaust, brakes, and tires and wheels brings up here exactly up to 62.6, which obviously is what you're gonna need to complete this um, limited series and win this car. All right, so that means uh, total racing dollar cost is 1,402,300 racing dollars. All right, now this car is featured in that new bonus series called Porsche Paradise. And that's, uh, you'll find that in the, the, what would you call that? The, road collection 
right yeah, under season one along with two other Porsche, uh, two other 911s, <laughs> right? Um, and in order to 100% uh, complete that, obviously you need the other two cars and uh, you need to have a PR up to nine, uh, nine. 64.9400% completion on that one, which means in order to get there, you need obviously a few more upgrades. So let's check that out real quick. So in order to bring your PR up to, uh, what was that? 64.9. Um, obviously the engine and body are the must get upgrades because those are the ones that are not uh, dead end upgrades. So let's see, because the others you get gold upgrade and that's it, you know, versus engine and body. They are a little bit, uh, well, engine certainly is a little bit pricier than the, the other categories, but you do unlock the next um, racing dollar upgrade tier. So here we go, 100 gold unlocks the final stage upgrade which is racing dollars right brings your PR up to 63.9 and then we need to go up to um 64.9 so yeah we're gonna need uh 75 gold for the body upgrade stage four and then that unlocks that uh next upgrade that we're gonna need which brings our PR exactly up to 64.9 so basically you need to get all the racing dollar upgrades available on this car and spend another 175 gold to get your PR up to 64.9 in order to uh, complete that bonus series the cars in cars featured in along with two other cars right all right and I'll go over the series overview for that series in a different video but for now and if you want to fully upgrade this car oh boy that's gonna cost you uh quite a bit more gold <laughs> um let's see 95 for drivetrain 85 for suspension and another 85 for exhaust so yeah that uh I believe it's gonna cost you some 704 gold. Yeah, I don't think this car's worth that. Anyway, that's the quick overview of the, the PR requirement for this car. Sort of a relevant PRs, right? PR points and the cost of um, reaching those PR requirements. Anyway, uh, let's just uh, quickly over, uh, go through the series itself and see what kind of events we can expect in this series. Tier 1, we got Hunter at Suzuka Grand Prix, so that's a full lap. Uh, we got Speed Record at the Brickyard Road Course, so that's also a full lap. So it'll be slightly shorter than Suzuka Grand Prix. And then the Cup is going to be at Laguna Seca. Two laps, so not too bad. Uh, tier 2, we got Autocross at Bugatti Circuit and Drag Race at Monza Road Course and the Cup for Tier 2 at Nürburgring Grand Prix which requires 51.7 uh, PR 51.7 for the 2 lap Cup. Alright, and Tier 3, we got Elimination at Porsche Test Track Long On Road Circuit followed by Speed Snap at Melbourne and the Cup 4 Tier 3 at Catalunya Grand Prix, three laps with a PR 52.9. So that's not exactly a short cup in such early part of the event, is it now? All right, moving on. Tier 4, your 25% completion tier, right? All right, we got head to head at Daytona Road Course. Uh, it's a night race, but Daytona is pretty well lit, so shouldn't be an issue. Uh, speed record at Suzuka Grand Prix, so that's another full lap at Suzuka Grand Prix. All right, followed by the Cup at Spa. Two laps, PR 53.9 required. So we're getting uh, not the shortest events in this um, 
shortest cup events in this event. All right, moving on. Tier five, we got Auto Cross at Hockenheim Short, Elimination at Circuit of the Americas Club Circuit, and the Cup at Red Bull Ring Grand Prix. And that is three laps for PR 54.8. Uh, All right, tier six, we got another drag race. This one at the Brickyard Road Course. Um, then we got Speed Snap at Laguna Seca, followed by the Cup at Bathurst Mount Panorama. Two laps, PR 55.6. There's a lot of two lap full length circuit cups. At least so far. And we know how it ends. We got five lapper at Hockenheim. So, all right. Anyway, tier seven, we got endurance at Red Bull Ring National Circuit. Speed record speed record at Circuit of the Americas National Circuit. And the cup at Dubai Club Circuit. That's a fun little circuit. Three laps. So that's uh, one of the shortest one, I think. Uh, PR 56.4. So tier seven apparently is gonna require a little bit uh, shorter races, maybe. All right, tier eight we got head to head at Spa, most likely a single lap, right? Yep. On occasion we get like multiple lap head to head, you know. So and uh, very rare, but it does happen. So just want to double check. And then we got Hunter at Hockenheim Short. So those two should be enough to get you fifty percent completion, of course. Anyway, uh, Tier 8 Cup is going to be at the Brickyard Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Road course, 4 laps, PR 57.1 required. Alright, Tier 9, we got Elimination at Catalonia National. Speed Snap at Silverstone National. And the Cup at Suzuka West. We're doing a lot of races, a lot of Cup at Suzuka, don't we? 5 laps, PR 57.9 required. Let's go west, five less. That's not too bad. Moving on to next tier, tier 10. We got autocross at Spa, Endurance at Mount Panorama, and Cup at Monza Road Course. Three laps, PR 58.6 required. All right, tier 11, we got yet another drag race. I think that's a third one in this event. This one at Nürburgring Grand Prix. Uh, then we got Hunter at Dubai Grand Prix, so that's a full lap. Uh, and the Cup for Tier 11 at Long On Road Circuit of Leipzig Porsche Test Track. Three laps, PR 59.3 required. Moving on to Tier 12, we got Head to Head at Silverstone International Single Lapper. Autocross at Mount Panorama and the Cup at Daytona Road Course. Four laps. PR 60.1 required, so that's getting a little bit lengthier. And that was, of course, your 75% completion tier. Moving on to the final quarter of this uh, series, tier 13, we got speed record at Manza Junior Course, so that's a short lap, followed by endurance at Dubai International. And then we got a 24 hour circuit Le Mans Cup. Two laps, that's a lengthy one, definitely. PR 60.9 required. And then, tier 14, four drag races. That's a bit much, don't you think? All right, this one takes place at Red Bull Ring Grand Prix. Does it really matter? <laughs> I think not. Anyway, then we got Hunter at uh, Nürburgring Grand Prix, so that's a full lap, and followed by the Cup at Melbourne. This one's going to be six lapper, PR requirement 61.7. And that brings us to the final tier, tier 15. Uh, we got head to head as Circuit of the Americas Grand Prix single lapper. Whoops. Jittery finger. <laughs> Followed by Speed Snap at Daytona Road Course. And the final cup, Hockenheim Grand Prix, as we checked in earlier. Five laps with a PR 62.6 required, which is going to basically take three upgrades across the board for some 264 gold and 1.4 million racing dollars and change. All right, so that'll do it for this series overview for the limited series featuring brand new Porsche 911 GT3 2021. Uh, be posting the playthrough. 
uh, of this event coming up. So stay tuned and we'll catch you guys in the next video. All right, take care.